Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little taller sweater here. Um, it's it's pretty easy to make. It's got double crochet sleeves. It's got some V-stitches here. V-stitches and double crochets down here at the bottom. Three buttons. Um, my daughter Evelyn, she always pick, she picks out her own buttons, so she picked those out. Um, they are approximately, I think they're a little big, but she wanted them. So, they're about an inch. Three quarters, no, they're about an inch. I think three quarters probably would look better. But, she wears it, so that's what she wanted. Um, it's got the collar on it, single crochet collar. So, let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, special thanks to my friends at Hobium for providing today's yarn. Today I'm using their Karatopu Baby Pastel yarn. It is a 80% acrylic, 20% polyamide blend. It is a medium weight number four. Now there are 207 yards per cake, and this is my third cake. So you will need five 550 yards uh, to finish this project. I will put a link below in the description box uh, to Hobium's website to where you can get this yarn and also don't forget to check out all their other nice yarns that they have on there Now for sizing um, You can make it for size two three or four you follow me exactly No matter what size you're doing you just use a different hook size. That's the only difference So if you have a child that wears a size 4t you want to use a size J Which is a six millimeter crochet hook if you have a child that wears a 3t you want to use an I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And if you want to make it for size 2T, you just go down one more hook size and you want to use an H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. Remember, follow along with me, just like everything I do, just switch the hook size. And I'll put the information below um, in the description box, again, for the sizing in case you want to refer to that. And I just want to say one more thing before we get started. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The, there'll be a link in the description box for that too. If you click on that link, it'll automatically subscribe you to my channel. And then it'll automatically update you anytime I put on any new tutorials. Okay, you want to start off with a chain of 53. And once you get your chain of 53 done, we want to go ahead and put a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Now remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So in the second stitch, go ahead and do a single crochet. And now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. just like that one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row okay once you make it to the end of row one you should have a total of 52 stitches now so now what we're going to do is chain one and turn our work we now what we want to do is put a double crochet into the uh, first six stitches so we're going to put our first double crochet right here into this very, very first space. So we're just going to go ahead and yarn over, go right into it, and double crochet. So we want six in a row. So there's one, two, oops, three, Four, five, and six. So now what we're going to do is we're going to form a point on the sweater. So into the next stitch, what we're going to put is two double crochets into the same stitch. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to go back into the same stitch and work two more double crochets. So that was two doubles, 
chain one and two doubles. Now I'm going to put one double crochet into the next 12 stitches. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the next one. There's one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've done 12 double crochets in a row. So now I'm going to do a point into the next stitch. So I'm going to work two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets all into the next stitch. Just like that. Now I'm going to continue on and I'm going to put one double crochet again into the next 12 stitches. So there's one, two, three. Okay, I've done my 12 stitches in a row again. So now I'm going to do a point into the next stitch. So the next stitch is going to get two doubles. A chain one and two doubles all into the same stitch. Just like that. Again, I'm going to put one double crochet into the next 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I've done my 12 stitches again and I'm, no, I'm going to put a point into the next stitch. So it's going to get two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets. And now you should have six stitches that remain. Go ahead and put one double crochet in the remaining six stitches. So one, two, three, four. five and six and that'll end row two and you should have a total of 64 stitches now so for row three we're going to chain one and turn our work now we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our chain one space and remember, we start our very first double crochet. It goes right here into this very first stitch. So work one double crochet until we get to our first chain one space. Okay, now I'm at my chain one space here and I'm going to put a point into that chain one space. So right through the chain space, I'm going to work two double crochets, chain one and two more double crochets through that space. Now I'm going to start again and I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain one space. And you got to watch this. Sometimes you got to pull these stitches back and make sure you get this first stitch because sometimes it hides underneath these stitches and it can get missed, but you don't want to miss it. So go ahead and pull them back. Make sure you get that first stitch. And I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch 
until I get to my next chain one space. Okay, I've made it to my next chain one space. And again, I'm going to work right through the chain space. Two double crochets. Chain one. Two double and two more doubles and I'm going to repeat it again by working one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain one space remember not to forget this very first stitch so one double in every stitch until we get to our next chain one space All right, I've made it to my next chain one space. And again, I'm going to work my two double crochets. Chain one, or chain one, I'm sorry. Two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. And I'm going to repeat it again. I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch till I get to my next chain one space. Okay, I've made it here to my next chain one space, which is actually my last one. So I'm going to go ahead and work my two doubles. Chain one and two more doubles into that stitch or into that chain space, I guess. And now I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch until I get to the end of the row. And when you make it to the end of a row three, you should have a total of 80 stitches now. So this is kind of what it starts to look like. If you look, it kind of forms a bit of a square. Okay. Row four. It's kind of a, just a repeat of row three so we chain one and we turn and we work one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our chain one space remember your first double crochet goes right here into this very first stitch and then one double in every stitch to your next or to your first chain one space here And then when we get to the chain one space, we just go ahead into the space and work our two double crochets. Chain one and two more double crochets into the same space. And now we're just repeating what we did on row three. So we're just going to work one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our next chain one space. And then that space will put two doubles, chain one, two doubles, one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our next chain one space. And then that space will be two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And repeat it again, one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our next, or it'll be our last chain one space. And you work two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And then you just work one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. So just go ahead and repeat uh, what we did on row three for row four. And I'll meet back up with you at the end here of row four. Okay, I've made it to the end of row four. And I should have a total of 96 stitches. And what we're going to do now for row five is chain one and turn. And we're just going to repeat the same thing again. One double crochet in every stitch till we get to our chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles into the space, one double crochet in every stitch to the next chain one space. So for uh, row five, we're just repeating the exact same thing we did for rows three and four. So I'm going to go ahead and start working and I'll meet up with you at the end of row 
five. Okay, I have made it to the end of row five. Sorry about that. And now you should have a total of 112 stitches. Row six, chain one and turn. We're going to repeat it one more time. So we're going to repeat the same thing. One double crochet in every stitch until we get to our chain one space. And then when we get to our chain one space, we work our two doubles, chain one and two doubles, and then we just repeat that. One double in every stitch to our next chain one space. So we're just repeating the same thing for row six that we've been repeating the previous rows. We're going to do that until we get to the end of the row. All right, I have made it to the end of row six, and now you should have 128 stitches. And then, you know, you'll have your four chain one spaces. So that's what it's looking like so far. Now what we're going to do, row, uh, row seven is the armhole row. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. So I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my first chain one space. All right, now what we're gonna do, into this chain one space, we're just gonna work two double crochets, that's it. So go right through the space and work two double crochets. Nothing else, just two doubles. And now we're gonna skip all these stitches here and we're gonna go jump to our next chain one space. So skipping all these, I kind of just fold my piece over and we're going to work two double crochets into this next chain one space. So go right into it, yarn over, and work your two double crochets. Just like that. So that's one armhole formed. Now I'm going to work one double crochet in every single stitch here. This would be along the back of the sweater until we get to our next chain one space so nothing else in this chain one space just two double crochets and then we just start off by working one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our next chain one space Okay, I've made it to my next chain one space. I did a double crochet in all them stitches. Now I'm just gonna work two double crochets into this chain one space. That's it, just two doubles. Like that. Now I'm gonna skip all these stitches and then I'm gonna work two doubles into this chain one space here. So again, you just kinda wanna hold your work a little bit. We're skipping all them stitches and jump into the next chain one space and working two doubles into that chain one space and then you have your second armhole formed and now I'm just going to continue by working one double crochet in every stitch until I get to the end of the row Okay, I've made it to the end of 
row seven, and you should have a total of 72 stu stitches. And that is not counting any of these stitches that we skipped. We don't count those. It's just these right along here. You should have 72 total. So for round eight, what we're gonna, or row eight, what we're gonna do is chain one and turn our work. And now we're just gonna go and we're gonna work one double crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of the row. So nothing special now. We're just gonna go along and work one double in every stitch. Just like this. And then when you get to the armhole up here, you don't do anything special to it. You just continue and you just work one double in every stitch, just right, right along the armhole, all the way around, across the other armhole, back to get back here to the other side. All right, I've made it to the end of row eight, and you still should have 72 stitches. So this is what it kind of looks like right now. So now I'm going to start working on some different stitches for the bottom of the sweater. So round, or row nine. What we're going to do is chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to start off by putting one double crochet into the very first stitch. Oops, one double, like that. Now I'm going to put one double into the next stitch. I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to V-stitch into the next. So I'm going to skip this one, skip, skip this one. And the next one, I'm going to work a double crochet, a chain of two, and then another double crochet in the same stitch. So that's a V-stitch. Then I'm going to skip one and double crochet into the next. Like that. So... Starting from the second double crochet, that's kind of the repeat. So we're going to start again. So we work another, we start off with a double crochet into the next stitch. Skip one stitch. So skip this one and V stitch into the next. We work a double crochet, chain up two, and another double crochet into the same stitch. Skip one stitch and double into the next like that now i'm going to repeat it again i'm going to start off by double crocheting into the next stitch skip one v stitch into the next so double chain two and double skip one and double into the next. Repeat it again. Double crochet into the next. Skip one V stitch into the next. Skip one and double into the next. So this is the pattern I'm going to repeat until I get to the end of the row. Double into the next. Skip one V stitch into the next. Skip one double into the next. Just like that and that's what it starts to look like so I'm going to go ahead and repeat this until I get to the end of the row all right I'm coming to the end of round nine and I just did my last V stitch and I have three stitches left so I want to skip one and then put one double crochet into the last two now at the end of round nine you should have 14 V stitches and then two double crochets in between each one and then two double crochets on 
the ends. So for round 10 is the repeat now for the sweater. So we chain one and we turn our work. We're going to put one double crochet into the first two stitches. And V-stitch into the chain space here of this V-stitch from the previous row. So right through this chain space, we work a V-stitch. We work a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet. And then we work one double crochet in each of these two double crochets right here. Just like that. And then we'll work a V-stitch right here into the middle of the this V-stitch from the previous row. So right through there, we work our double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and then we work one double crochet in these two double crochets right here. One double crochet in the top of each of them. So basically we're just keeping what we're doing what we did before but we're keeping our v-stitches lined up and our double crochets lined up so we v-stitch in the chain two space of the next v-stitch and then we put one double crochet in each of the next two double crochets V-stitch in the chain two space of the next V-stitch. And one double crochet in each of the next two double crochets. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way to the end of the row. And when you get to the end, you'll still have 14 V-stitches with two double crochets in between each one of them. So this is the row we're going to keep repeating. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row 10 and I just did my last V-stitch there. I have two stitches here. Go ahead and put a double crochet into your last two stitches. Now we're just going to keep repeating row 10 until we get the sweater the length that we need it to be. So we just chain one and turn and just keep repeating that row one double crochet into the first two stitches and v-stitch into the chain space of the next v-stitch okay now i went ahead and done 21 rows and that is counting the very first row that we did all the way down to 21 um, now I'm going to put an edge around the bottom, but what you want to do is you want to make sure the right side's facing you and the right side would be where the very first row of double crochet you, that you did are facing right side up. So if you see mine, this is the very first row, they're facing right side up. The next row is wrong side. So you want the first row of double crochet to be facing right side up. So if you have to turn your work for that to happen, that's fine. Or if it's already like that and you don't need to turn, that's fine too. And you didn't do anything wrong if you have to turn or if you, you know, if you're different than me. It just means that when you made your sleeves that you folded a different way than I did. So as long as that uh, first row of double crochet is facing up, whether you have to turn or not, go ahead and get that. Turn, get, it, get it where it's facing up and then we'll go ahead and start on the uh, edge here so you just want to chain one turn if you need to or keep it uh, the way it is if your double crochets are facing right we're going to go ahead and put a double crochet into the very first two stitches Like that. 
Now in this chain space of the V-stitch, I'm going to work five double crochets. So that's going to be a shell stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going <clears> to <throat> come over here. You see these two double crochets right here. I'm going to single crochet in between them. So don't go in the top of the stitches. Go right in between the two double crochets and do a single crochet like that. And now I'm going to jump over here to this chain space of the next V. And I'm going to work a shell. I'm going to work five double crochets. Just one. Two, three, four, and five. And then we come over here to these two double crochets right here. Single crochet right in between them. So go right in between the stitches like that. And then single crochet. And that's going to be the repeat for the edging. So we work a shell or five double crochets into this middle of this next V stitch. And then we single crochet in between these two double crochets. So go right in between them. And single crochet. So I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way until we get over here to the other side. Okay, I have made it to the other side and I just did my last shell into this last V stitch and I have two double crochets here left. Now we don't want a single crochet in between them. We're just going to put one double crochet in each of the last two stitches. Just like that. And now you can clip your yarn here, just like that. And now that's what that looks like. Now we're going to work on the sleeves. Now I already have one sleeve done. Now both sleeves are worked the exact same. So I'll go ahead and show you how we work them. You want to get your yarn and let's look what we got here. Okay, we're going to start right here in this chain space, not in the stitch, but this is the chain space. So go right through there and that's where we're going to start our yarn. So we'll start by chaining one. Now we're going to go right back into that same chain space and we're going to work a double crochet. Just like that. Now we're going to work double crochet two together. So you see this spot here. This is the a double side of a double and then this little spot here. We're going to double crochet those two together. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over. I kind of go wiggle right into that side of that double crochet just a little bit. That way there's not a big gaping hole like that. And draw up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over again and I'm going to go into this next spot. Which is right here. See where I'm going into this hole here and draw up a loop and I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over and go through all three loops. Now I'm going to do that again and I'm going to do it in this with this spot right here and kind of like wiggle my way through the side of this double crochet just like we did over there. So I'm going to yarn over, go into this spot and draw up a loop. And yarn over and go through the first two loops. I'm going to yarn over and I kind of just, this is a side of a double kind of crochet here I think. Can we just kind of wiggle halfway through it? 
curl up a loop yarn over and go through the first two and then yarn over and go through all three just like that now we want to put one double crochet into this chain space here not right here through the space and now it's one double crochet in every stitch make sure you get this first stitch here now you'll be able to see, see the stitches a lot easier that first row is kind of tricky so it's one double crochet all the way around now until we get back to where we started okay i'm coming all the way around here's where i started in this chain space don't forget to get this last stitch don't because sometimes it gets a little hidden but you got to make sure you get that last stitch there and now we're going to end round one of the sleeve that's what we just did by slip stitching into our first double crochet and you have you should have 36 stitches now so now we're going to start round two of the sleeve by chaining one and we're going to work one double crochet right back into that same stitch now we're going to do a double crochet decrease over the next two stitches so we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch and you drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook yarn over and go into the next stitch drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops and then yarn over and go through all three just like that now we're just going to work one double crochet in every stitch around until we get back to the beginning okay i've made it all the way around into round two you want to end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet and now you'll have 35 stitches for round three we're going to chain one and what we want to do is we're going to do one double crochet into the first five stitches and then we're going to do a double crochet decrease so we're going to go right back into the very same spot that we just slip stitched into and double crochet so that counts as one two three four and five now we're going to decrease over the next two so yarn over go into the next one drop a loop yarn over go through the first two loops yarn over go into the next stitch drop a loop yarn over go through the first two and then yarn over and go through all three and that's what we're going to repeat all the way around one double crochet into the next five And double crochet decrease over the next two just like that repeat it again one double crochet in the next five and then double crochet decrease double the next five and double crochet decrease all the way around until you get back to your starting point okay i've made it back to my starting point at the end of round three now you should have ended in a decrease and then we're going to end round three by slip stitching into our first double crochet and now you should have 30 stitches so we're going to start round four by chaining one so rounds four and five are done the same way it's just one double crochet in every stitch all the way around so we start by putting double crochet into our very first stitch and then one double crochet in every stitch all the way around this is round four when we get back to the beginning you'll have 30 stitches still 
just in with the slip stitch into your first double crochet and then for round five you just repeat it again one double crochet in every stitch so I'm gonna go ahead and work rounds four and five and then I'll meet back up with you as soon as I'm finished okay I've made it to the end of round five in with the slip stitch into your first double crochet and you should still have 30 stitches so for round six we're going to chain one and we're going to work one double crochet into the first four stitches and then we're going to do a double crochet decrease so go ahead and go right back into the very first stitch so there's one two three and four and then we're going to do a double crochet decrease over the next two Just like that and that's what we're going to repeat all the way around now one double into the next four and double crochet decrease over the next two like that so go ahead and repeat that pattern one double crochet in the next four double crochet decrease all the way around to get back to the beginning okay I'm coming to the end of round six and your last stitch should have been a decrease go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet like that and now you should have 25 stitches so we're gonna chain one and now rounds seven eight 9, 10, 11, and 12. 7 through 12 are all going to be one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. So we're on round 7. You just work one double in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. You'll always have 25 stitches still at the end of every round. In with the slip stitch into your beginning for your first double crochet chain one and start again so just work rounds of one double crochet in every stitch until you finish round 12 we're on round seven right now i'm gonna go ahead and work mine and i'll meet back up with you after i finish round 12. all right i've made it to the end of my 12th round i'm gonna end by slip stitching into my first double crochet and you still should have 25 stitches so round 13 I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to do a double crochet into the first three and then a double crochet decrease so I'm going to go double crochet in that first one so there's one two three and then double crochet decrease over the next two Just like that and that's the pattern now for round 13 double crochet into the next three stitches one two three and then double crochet decrease over the next two double crochet in the next three and then double crochet decrease all the way around until you get back to the beginning all right i come to the end of round 13. you should end it in a decrease slip stitch into your beginning or your first double crochet and now you should have 20 stitches round 14 we're going to chain one so rounds 14 through 17 now are one double crochet in every stitch so just like we did before work one double crochet in every stitch around for rounds 14 15 16 and 17 you'll have 20 stitches at the end of every round and i will meet back up with you at the end of round 17. all 
All right, I have made it to the end of round 17 and you should still have 20 stitches. So I'm gonna end with a slip stitch into my first double crochet. Now I'm gonna do a few rounds of single crochet. So I'm gonna chain one for round 18. I'm gonna go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. And now I'm just gonna work one single crochet in every stitch around. No more decreasing. It's just one single crochet in every stitch around until we get back to the beginning. All right, now when you make it back to the beginning, you're gonna wanna use some type of a stitch marker right here. Okay, I made it back to the beginning. You still should have 20 stitches. I'm just gonna use this piece of yarn here and I'm gonna place it right here. That way I know where I end and where I begin. And now I'm just gonna jump right over to the very first single crochet that we made and single crochet into it. So we're on round 19 now. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch around back to my stitch marker. Okay, I made it back to my stitch marker. I'm going to pull it out and move it up. I still have 20 stitches. So round 20 is just going to be, again, one single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, I made it back to my stitch marker at the end of round 20. Now all I wanna do is go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. You can take that stitch marker out because you don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to clip my yarn and then I'm gonna hide my tails. Now remember, both sleeves are worked the exact same way. So go ahead and just work the, the other sleeve the very same way. Okay. Now we got both sleeves done and now we're going to go up the sides here and uh, work some rows so we can make buttonhole rows. And since this would be for a girl, we're going to make the buttonholes on the right side and then we'll sew the buttons on the left. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start on this side first. We're going to do one side at a time. And this will be the side that we do the buttonholes on. So you want to start your yarn right down here. Just kind of right here in the corner. Now it's going to be really hard to tell where to put your stitches because you're working on the sides of these double crochets. But what I like to do is put, try to do, is put two single crochets to every double crochet. I just try to evenly space them out like that the best that I can. So I started right here in the corner and I chained one. So I'm gonna go right back in and single crochet. And now I'm gonna do my best to kind of work two singles to every double crochet here along this side. Now you might have a different number than me come time whenever we're finished because like I said, this is just kind of a, you're just kind of evenly spacing them out the best that you can. Yours might be a little bit different than mine, but that's okay. As long as we do our best to get them evenly spaced out, just try to get two singles to every double. That way at least flat.
just like that. So I'm going to work that all the way up until I get up here to the top. Okay, I've made it all the way to the top. Now remember that very first single crochet row we did? I'm going to put a single crochet right there. And that'll be my last stitch. Now I'm not going to count my stitches because you might have a different number than me, like I said, and that's okay. As long as you did your best to evenly space them out and try to get your two singles to every double. Now what I'm going to do is chain one and turn my work and I'm going to work it back down the same side, putting one single crochet in every stitch. Now you'll be able to see the stitches just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put one single crochet into that very first stitch and then one single in every stitch all the way down until I get down to the bottom. Okay, I've made it all the way down to the bottom. That was my second row of my buttonhole row. Now we're on row three, and this is where we're gonna leave the chain spaces for the buttonholes. But we're gonna do that when we get up here to the top. So right now I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. And I'm gonna work back up. I'm gonna put one single crochet in every stitch until I make it up here to where we where these double crochet rows are. I'll meet you right up here. Go ahead and work one single crochet all the way up here until we start to you see these rows of double crochet and that's where, where I'll meet you at. So you just start off by putting one single crochet into that first stitch and then one in every stitch. Okay, I stopped right here. Now you can see these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of double crochet. I'm gonna put a buttonhole along the second row, the fourth row, and the sixth row. So I'm gonna mark off for them. Now, this does not have to be exact. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. So. The buttonhole is going to take up two stitches. So what I'm going to do, here's my first row of double crochet and here's my second row. I'm just going to follow it up in these two double crochets that are right, or two single crochets that are right on top of that row of double crochet right there. See it? I'm going to go ahead and put a marker in between those two. That way that I know that's the ones that I need to skip like that. And then I'm going to go to the next one. And you can do this without marking, you know, you know, if you can just eyeball it. I'm going to skip this third row and on this fourth row, I'm just going to kind of follow it up a little bit. And these two right here, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to go ahead and put a marker on those two. And then again, that's the fourth, here's the fifth, and on the sixth row, follow it up, and I'm going to do these two right here. Just somewhere along the lines of that. Remember, it does not have to be perfect. Of course, it's not going to be perfect. It's handmade. And then I'll mark those off. Now, if you want to count and make sure, see if you have the same number of stitches in between them, you can. Empty stitches. So these two are taken up. So I got one, two, and then I got one, two in between that. That's fine. Now, yours is, you know, if you don't have that exact number, that's fine. But now what we're going to do is just pick up where we left off. And I'm going to single crochet up to my first stitch marker spot. Now I'm not going to go into the stitch that has my marker. 
I'm going to chain two. I'm going to skip those two stitches that my marker's in and single crochet into the next. So here's where my marker's at. You probably can't see it that good, but I can see it. it's taking up these two stitches. So I'm skipping those two and single crocheting into the next. So there's my buttonhole. And I'm going to single crochet up to the next marker. It's right here. These two stitches. So I'm going to chain two. Skip those two stitches. Single crochet into the next. And up till the next marker. Right here. Chain two. Skip those two stitches. And then single crochet up until you reach the top. Oh man, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Just like that. Now you can take the markers out. You don't need them anymore. Because you got your buttonholes now. Alrighty. Now we're on, we're working on row four now with the buttonhole. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. I'm going to put one single crochet into the very first stitch. And I'm going to work one single crochet until we get to our chain two space here. When we get to our chain two space of our buttonhole, I'm just going to work two single crochets right through the space. Just like that. And then one single crochet in every stitch till you get to your next buttonhole. Two single crochets right through the chain space of the next buttonhole. One single crochet in every stitch until you get to your next buttonhole. Here it is. And just work two single crochets through that chain two space. There we go. And now we're just going to continue working one single crochet in every stitch until we get down to the bottom, until we get to the end of the row. So we got our buttonholes made. Just like that. Okay, I've made it to the end of row four. I'm going to do one more row. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And now it's just one single crochet in every stitch again. So no more buttonholes or anything. Just one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the top. Okay, I made it all the way to the top. Now I'm going to clip my yarn. Like that. So there is our button row. Now we're going to do the other side. We're going to do the same thing except for we're not going to leave any buttonholes. We're just going to do five rows of single crochet back and forth. But I'm going to start to keep it looking, the rows looking the same on both sides. Instead of starting at the bottom like we did over here and working up, I'm going to start at the top and work down but we're still going to do the same thing we're going to be working one single crochet in every stitch but this first row is two single crochets to every double but we're going to start out in this very first uh, stitch here chain one go back into it and single crochet now we do our best to evenly space out and work two single crochets to every double all the way down. This will be row one of this side. And then when you make it down to the bottom, chain one and turn, and then work back up, putting one single crochet in every stitch, back to the top, chain one and turn, so we're just going to do the same thing we did, but we're not leaving any buttonhole rows. It's just five rows of single crochet on this side. This is the side that we will sew the buttons to. So we don't need no holes. We just need a straight five rows 
of single crochet. All right, I have finished my five rows of single crochet on this side. It's just straight single crochets, no buttonhole rows. Go ahead and clip your yarn there at the end of the row. You can hide that tail. Now I'm going to work on the collar. And that's the last thing we have to do besides sew on our buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and put my piece like this. And I'm going to start up here. Now we don't want to work in those five rows of single crochet we did. We want to start up here on our very first row single crochet or our chain actually is what it is so go ahead and start right into that first one there and chain one go right back into it and single crochet now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch all along the collar until I get back over to the other side Should be pretty easy to see where your stitches need to go. So I'm going to continue working one single all the way around here until I get right over here to this side. Okay, I have made it over to the other side, and remember, we don't want to work in these five rows here now when you make it over here you should have 52 stitches because that's what we had on our first row that we did in the very beginning if you don't have that it's just uh, anywhere close is probably okay but you, you should try to have 52 if you can and now what we're gonna do is just chain one and turn our work and I want to work back across again putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the other side. So now I'm just working rows of one single crochet in every stitch across the collar. Rows of single crochet. So when I make it all the way back to the other side, I still should have 52 stitches and then I want to chain one and turn my work and go around again so right now we're on row two of the collar and we're just going to keep working rows back and forth of single crochet one in every stitch 52 stitches at the end of every row Okay, I have done eight rows of single crochet along the collar. Now for the ninth row, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. What I'm going to do is put two single crochets into the very first stitch. This is on my ninth row. So two into that first stitch. And then I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch now until I get to my last stitch. When I get to my last stitch, I'm going to put two single crochets in my last stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and continue working one single crochet into every stitch till I get all the way over to the other side. Okay, I've made it over here to my last stitch on my ninth row and I'm going to put two single crochets in it like that now I'm going to do one more row row 10 I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to do the same thing that I just did on row 9 so when you ended row 9 you'll have 54 stitches now instead of 52 so for row 10 I'm going to start off by putting two single crochets into the first stitch and then one single crochet into every stitch until I get to the last stitch 
and then I'll put two single crochets into the last stitch. Okay, I've made it to the end of my 10th row of the collar, two single crochets into the last stitch, and then tie that off. And you'll have 56 stitches now at the end of that 10th row. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hide any tails that I have hanging around. Okay, once you get all your tails hidden, now you wanna sew your buttons on. Just line them up right here. I just used a piece of yarn and a yarn needle and line them up with the same rows of your as your buttonholes. So remember we put our buttonholes on the other side on the second row of double crochet here. So I lined it up and I kind of put it in the middle of this strip of five single crochet. And then we did it on the fourth row and then the sixth row. I did it the best I could. And then you can swing it over and button it up here. <clears throat> okay, now one more thing I did is usually the collar won't stay down all that well like right here it'll flip up now some people take a button a little tiny button and sew it on to hold the collar down i actually just took um a piece of yarn and just put one little stitch to hold it down i'm sure you're noticing that yours flips up that's kind of what happens especially when you use single crochet but I just went from the behind like this and then back through right in the corner here just like that tied a little knot and then hid them tails and I did that on both sides and that will hold the collar down you don't have to worry about that flipping up but once you get that done that is it that's all there is to it I think it turned out pretty cute Probably not really the buttons that I would have chose, but it is Evelyn's, so I always do what she wants. But that's it. I hope you uh, enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you are able to follow along okay. Please remember not to forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget about that auto-subscribe link that we talked about in the beginning down there in the description box. And also don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them. So, until next time, have a good day.